uh, a very good morning to all uh, i am mrs rajesh reitkarkar member uh, institution of innovation council cell aissms coi welcome you all for the phase 2 of the impact lecture series 2022 sponsored by ministry of education innovation cell and ai city on behalf of aissms coi iic cell i welcome our guest vishakha chandre ma'am convener dr v n patil madam all hods faculty of aissms and from other institutes and my dear students uh, we have with us uh, uh ms vishakha ma'am for the first session uh, uh on the uh, who is the founder of orja box llp uh this phase to impact lecture series uh, is being uh, scheduled on 12th and 22nd of july at 11 am and 2 pm uh so i welcome you all on behalf of iic asms ul and i request sakshi to introduce our guest vishakha chandra ma'am sakshi thank you ma'am good morning everyone today we are initiating with innovative series of impact lecture uh, welcome you all for the first session today we have with us ms vishakha chanderi ma'am ms vishakha ma'am is an energy enthusiast who runs a small business in the sustainable cooking sector she has an extensive experience in the energy and climate sector and have worked with reputed national and international organizations she has been a mentor in the global women's network for energy transitions she is working towards the vision of enabling every individual to cook at least one meal on renewable fuels on behalf of aissms college of engineering pune i would like to welcome ms vishakha chandheri ma'am over to you ikat karma hello uh, hello yes ma'am avisha uh, ma'am you can share the screen and you can start the presentation ma'am okay thank you so much thanks for the uh, kind introduction and welcome everyone uh, for today's session um so we like to have an interactive session and uh, so i would like whenever you have any questions or anything uh please do uh, let me know and um, we can uh, stop and have the question then there then and there um so uh, today's uh, session is about can you see my screen yes ma'am no okay yes ma'am so uh, we are going to talk uh, about actually when you have the uh, innovation ready with your ready in your hands and then you have to kind of commercialize it so uh, that is what uh, we are going to uh, talk about today um i would uh, like to understand from you uh, what would you what is your idea of uh, innovation like what would you call an innovation or you can give any uh, real life examples also like right now if there are any so you can put that in the chat what is your uh, view of innovation what do you think is innovation any audience would like to tell any comments Ma'am, chat box is disabled. Oh, okay. Uh, can the organizers uh, open the chat box, please? Ah, uh, verbally you can uh, talk. Those who want to talk. Ah, those who want to talk. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Uh, anyone then can speak. Unmute yourself and speak. Anyone? what is your idea of innovation what do you think will be termed as innovation uh, ma'am innovation is Innov anything uh, which reduces human effort and increases uh, 
productivity of a human okay that's a nice answer anyone else uh innovation is something which has not done previously and uh, it is something uh not worked up by any other implemented by any other persons correct yeah yeah so um we will uh term innovation in there are many definitions of uh, innovation uh the gist of which is that when you want when you are doing something in a different way which reduces effort which makes uh, which brings in new aspects to that uh, working and uh, there is an ip potential that is intellectual property right potential in that uh, area uh, in that activity then you can term it as a innovation right so uh, just to give an example uh there are many apps or uh, health related apps just to take an example there are many health related apps all of them give you you know a uh, format on in which way you have to join the app which way you have to uh, do your exercises and everything and everything now that has become a norm but if there is an app uh, which works differently as in it connects to your laptop or it connects to your mobile phone or it connects to your tv screen in a different way and helps you to improve your uh, the way you are managing your fitness then there will be an innovation uh, potential in that particular activity so likewise uh, innovation is something uh, that adds value to anything that you are doing new now when you want to convert your innovation into uh, a business it's not only about the ideas there will be all of you might be having at least four to five ideas of doing things differently okay the way you travel the way you eat the way you procure your food uh the way you study there are in every activity that you do there is a potential to do those things separately or differently okay so it's not about ideas there you will have plenty of ideas but it's about making those ideas happen right so when you pick up one idea and start working on that and then you bring it to a point where you have a ready solution for it and then you commercialize it okay so these would be the steps uh when you have an innovation you test that innovation and then you commercialize that innovation in such a way that many people are able to benefit from it okay the ultimate aim of your innovation is to solve some societal problem right it could be anything it could be about uh, waste management it could be about water management it could be about entertainment anything but when you are solving a problem uh, in a different way you are bringing technology you are building new equipment or you are trying to build in a new service into it then all of that put together should be ultimately able to help people because if it if it is helpful more and more people will buy your service or product and that is how your innovation will be converted into product and that product will make up a, a scalable business okay so uh, this these are the steps like right from having idea to building your product to building uh, or scalable product and then implementing it so there are so many ideas that are there some of the ideas are uh, sound really good but uh, there are many barriers to implementing those ideas so what are those barriers and how you will address sometimes the idea is really great but it is not practically feasible to do that idea or to scale up that idea then what happens and if the idea is really doable 
then also there are challenges that as soon as you put your idea into the market there will be many competitors there will be many people who would want to copy your idea and uh, then you know you will have you will end up having more competitors so you have to find a very fine uh, way of uh, implementing your ideas into or your innovations taking them to the market and then having a successful um, business out of it all right so now uh, what uh, do you can you just tell me any idea around you that you think uh, is difficult to implement or uh, you want to do it but it seems very um, uh, challenging or overwhelming to actually put it into a business do you have any such idea or you can give any example for that matter not necessarily uh, you should have your own idea waste management waste Sorry? management yeah waste management waste management correct what is the challenge do you think in the waste management area like how can we uh, renew or uh, we can uh, renew these whatever the wasters and use it as in uh, uh, renewable energy in some way mm -hmm. right so uh, with this idea of waste collection uh, what are the challenges what do you think are the challenges so collection of waste segregation of waste and then converting it into some usable way maybe in the form of energy or in the form of upcycled products so there is a lot of uh, activity that has to uh, go there is a lot of work that has to go behind it and sometimes it feels so too overwhelming that you, we are not sure whether this will happen whether this should happen whether this is the right way to do it is there a cheaper way to do it so all of those evaluations have to happen before you uh, actually uh, pick up those that, that idea and start working on so you know we, we all know about elon musk right so he is talking about you know taking life to mars and you know giving another planet where we can actually have our settlement humans can live out on mars and all of that thing now that seems a very distant idea and a very difficult one to implement but the idea is innovative very innovative and uh, actually finding life on mars or making the uh, you know atmosphere in mar on mars in such a way that humans can inhabit that and it, we all know that it is going to be a very very costly project to implement or space tourism kind of a thing so we know that these ideas are existing and people are working on those ideas and they are trying to convert those ideas into uh, successful business models because elon musk is not doing all of this for charity he is actually running his own business around this this concept that you know we we want to migrate to a different planet altogether so uh, no idea is uh, too small or too big to work upon it just that we need to know the right way of going around uh, with our uh, ideas and implementing them finding out the right technology uh, to take it forward finding out the right people who will support us in doing our work uh, finding out the right type of investors and finding out the right audience as in your customers uh, to run your business so this is a, a map uh, which will which kind of talks about uh, our journey of um, taking our innovation uh, to a successful business okay so i would want all of you to spend a minute uh, on uh, this particular uh, map and then we'll discuss
all right so as we are seeing that you know uh, most of the innovative ideas have to be future looking that 10 years down the line 20 years down the line 100 years down the line what are the problems that as humans we are going to face and how are how can we address uh, those problems and make uh, the lives of our future generations more easy or sustainable we write down all of those ideas and out of that if we come upon hit upon an idea which we think okay this is what i want to do then perhaps you make a prototype out of it okay and once you make the prototype out of it you have to do the testing you might like your idea so i like my ideas a lot no i feel they are the best on this planet but uh, that is what i feel because those are my ideas i have uh, ownership for my ideas but are there other people uh, who might be my potential audience as in government as in custom uh, uh, customers investors funders do they like this idea do they see the potential in this idea do they think that this idea is worth it workable uh, let's say transportation or grocery transportation using drones i want to use drones uh, or i want to develop drones uh, which will help uh, you know to deliver grocery in a lesser time uh, do it more accurately and all of those things so i i find that idea very attractive but will government allow is there a drone policy how if at all there will be a drone policy how long will it take for the government to have a drone policy and implement that is right kind of technology available will people want to buy from a drone or they want a human person only always to come up to their uh, door and de uh, deliver grocery to them or deliver medicines to them so uh if if i develop a prototype and if i show it to people i have to see their reactions i have to see record their re reactions and see if uh, you know uh, if that is something that excites people if whether they want to have such a service or not going forward in the future how helpful or how damaging is that going to be so once i show it to people record not everyone will like it some might like it some might not like it some might suggest give me some improvement suggestions on that so i will have to show it to people then what i do is i launch uh, my product into the uh, market you know to some uh, few test customers it's called the beta version many a times so you i launch i launch the beta version that and i tell people that okay this is my idea and uh, this is the stage where you also see whether people are ready to pay for it in the earlier stage you are just showing them your concept and you are just taking their inputs working on those improved uh, inputs improving it then you arrive at a price for your service or price for your product and with that price with that introductory price or with that introductory uh, service you enter the market and you test it with your beta consumers okay this is the product that i have now you test it like use it test users kind of thing and you have to also see whether they are ready to pay for it or not you cannot keep it you know early stages you have to charge something because uh, people should know that they have to charge for this service one second is uh, you also have to see that usually people have a perception in your mind even with you if you want to go and buy let's say uh, if you want to go up, uh, go and buy a sack for your you know uh, back sack for your trekking so you have a perception you have a budget for that in your mind you have a perception that if i buy a back sack of this uh, branded two three companies then my price range should be between this to this if it is a non branded product then my price should be this, between this to this this is my budget so within my budget if there are any offers i will check or if there is a way to you know get it uh, the best quality product at the minimum price so you have a perception in your mind already about what should be the price of this particular product so when you are launching your innovative service or uh, product you should know what is the perception of the people uh, for buying this service let's say you are you you are developing this drone service to deliver uh, groceries and medicines now 
uh, if you are going to charge rupees 300 per delivery uh, for uh, your uh, uh, for uh, you know delivering this how many people would want to pay 300 for one delivery or for two deliveries and how are you going to you know uh, give uh, like your service maybe will be then taken over by companies like zomato or swiggy they will want to associate with you and you know add drones to their delivery models then in that case how will you do the franchising or how will you do so your service model is where is something that you're going to test at this stage which is the launch stage okay so you're going to uh, between the uh, prototype and the launch stage you will have to do a lot of refining of your work then once you have some paying customers once you have a revenue model then some then perhaps you know you can start uh, looking for funding okay that who's going to invest everything you cannot invest because you have, you might have already burned a lot of cash coming up to the launching stage okay now uh, you will need some funding so who is, who are the people who are going to fund in this who will be your investors because without that you cannot run your business you cannot run an entire business on your own money right so especially when you are developing some new products or new technologies or something like that you will need more and more people to invest into your ideas and so that you know you have that working capital at hand you have that money operational capital at ha hand and uh, so you are then uh, looking out for funders then at the same time what you are doing you are trying to also look out for uh, equity partners or you are you have to register your firm so we have to you have to decide how you want to register there are different legal structures of registering your firm it can be uh, you can register as a pole, uh, sole proprietorship or you can register as a leg, uh, limited liability partnership or as an uh, private equity partnership and then you know there are different legal structures in which you have to register your company once you register your company it has to be abiding as per the local uh, laws uh, of that area in which country you want to so you know there are many tech firms fintech firms also uh, whom which you can register if you you can choose the country where you want to start up with okay you have the idea you are working in india fine but if you also want to register in your your company in singapore because they give more benefits to startups so you have to do that evaluation also where you want to register uh, and for what reasons you want to register in then they will ask for some stake also so you have to see that you know uh, you have a co-founder uh, who uh, is aligned with your vision Vishaka ma'am, I think a network problem she might be having. We'll yeah, wait for two, three minutes. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Someone yes, is now muting my uh, this thing uh, automatically. Modus sir, please take. Yeah, I, I'm getting yes. muted automatically. I don't know how. Okay. 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 Fine. Take it, huh? right so then what we are going to do is we are going to see if our customers are uh, wanting our service again and again how many repeat customers we are having uh, how are, are we working with our customers all of those things now if you see that your customers are not coming back and if you see that your customers are not ready to pay for you then you have to kind of iterate again and uh, 
refine and redefine your services or revisit uh, you know uh, your model the look wise there can be so many things that your customers might not be happy with so you have to take all of that constructive feedback and go back and go follow the same process if you if you are successfully able to increase your customers week on week month on month basis uh, then uh, you have to keep growing your business and uh, then you can uh, also think of getting more funding and uh, scaling it up to different uh, countries and uh, then you know having a multinational business uh, grow out of your idea so these are generally the stages uh, how you take how you start from an idea uh, how you make a prototype uh, test the prototype iterate on your prototype find a co for founder register your company look for funding launch and then come back uh, to your customers get their feedback again see if they are coming back see if your customers are increasing or decreasing give some time you know for for your customers to uh, uh, be comfortable with your idea be comfortable with your products so meanwhile you have to keep uh, sharpening on your business skills in all of those ways and then perhaps you know uh, depending on whether uh, your customers are increasing or decreasing you make a decision on how you want to go about it further now uh, do you have any uh, questions on this this is actually the gist of everything that we are going to talk today so this is an important uh, slide and that's why I, i kind of requested you to spend some time on this so um so yeah tell me if you have any questions on this Do you think it's doable? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and do you think mm -hmm. there are any issues with um um with any of the steps? The basic issue of the step uh, first step. <laughs> with which uh, <laughs> idea that is a basic problem i found that 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 is a basic problem yeah so the uh, to to find an idea uh, you have to kind of read through or uh, the problems unless you are trying to solve a problem let's say uh ag again we can take an example of waste management so we are seeing that you know uh, waste management uh, has Uh, a lot of problems like first problem it starts with waste collection so in waste collection what are the available technologies right now who is doing it correctly right now and what are they doing differently and what can uh, how can i think differently about that problem so unless and until you start looking out for problems you will not come to an idea what happens generally is that uh even in our uh, daily lives uh, we are you know uh, when we are studying also we are too much uh, uh, into the mark system the submission system this system that system uh, all of that but uh, the more time should actually be utilized towards seeing how those problems how people have solved the problems earlier and what is the uh, challenges that are going to come ahead and then how can we ad address those problems now uh, for example in the construction industry there are now you know you get uh, these studio apartments we, uh, which can be constructed within an hours time so you have everything ready all the frames are ready you just have to assemble them and within no time your studio apartment is ready right so that kind of things when they are there uh what would be the future challenges how can you do that which are the softwares which will help you to design better homes you know so once you start looking at a problem and start solving that problem step by step step by step, step that is where you know you will get more ideas unless you put get yourself into that habit of uh looking around and solving problems you know mentally uh, okay this is uh, this is the problem that i'm facing today uh that my bus doesn't arrive on time so and i'm wasting a lot of time waiting at the bus stop so what can i do to reduce this waste of time you no know, simple problems once we start solving 
then perhaps uh, you know we can arrive at uh, more solutions that oh if there was an announcement or if my watch could tell me that my bus is going to be 10 minutes late uh, i can you know better manage my time accordingly or uh, if my uh, watch can tell me that you know there are uh, around uh, uh, 10 more buses on different routes that lead to my college and if i just change my bus stop maybe i'll get more Ma'am, you are muted. Hello, Vishakha, ma'am. Ma'am, you are not audible. Am I audible now? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Automatically, it gets muted. I don't. What is wrong with it? I yes. don't understand. Yeah, Anyways. same thing is happening on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, finding an idea, we have to be in that habit of. Uh, iterating on the ideas that we are getting and solving issues it should not happen that you know waste management or oh, the pmc doesn't work so once you start putting that on to someone else you will never get ideas so uh, that problem solving attitude only will help to find new ideas and then looking around for technologies looking around not necessary that every time you build a business out of it but uh this problem solving appet uh, attitude will actually help you in your job also wherever you go so uh, that is uh, with finding ideas so it is it will come only with practice uh, and going into that mode of solving problems uh, and then perhaps you will have more brighter ideas as you practice that mode all right uh so here again we have kind of uh, added some more uh, technical terms uh, to our earlier uh, this thing um, slide uh, and it is very important because whenever you are going to start your own uh, business or whenever you want to uh, look at uh, a scalable business uh, just saying that oh waste management uh, this area has lot of scope in the future that doesn't help okay or ai machine learning lot of scope so i want to do that that uh, that perhaps is not the uh, right way if you are, if you want to do a business if you want just to do a job or if you want to see that you know uh, you are landing yourself somewhere after completing your education then perhaps that might be the way to choose but uh, if you really want to make a difference if you want to uh, uh, build a you know a long and a successful career for yourself uh, then perhaps you know you need to have a different approach towards uh, choosing what you want to do rather than just saying oh this area has lot of scope so i will go here right so uh, ideating as uh, we say uh, said so you know uh, what happens is uh, we have ideas uh, we develop products but then many a times we are not having that courage to or uh, take those ideas commercially okay but it is it is a science now and if you just do everything step wise you will be able to achieve uh, proper results uh, for your uh, ideas uh, so uh, uh, you know there is uh, this website called freedom is everything uh, do visit this website it has some really great content on uh, which will give you uh, step wise Uh, methods on how you want you should be going about your business or your ideas and how you should be able to scale them up and then you can decide for yourself whether you want to scale it up or after having an idea you just want to sell your company which is also fine that you have an idea you have brought it to a particular stage and now you you want to just scale it up because you feel that okay i will i want to work on some other idea now this idea is uh, done it is well set off and i will sell it off so there are many people there is something called as serial entrepreneurship which means what these people do is they just work on ideas they build some products they make it you know uh, business viable and they sell it off to someone else then again they start working on another idea right so uh, that also is possible if you don't want to get into the nitty gritty of uh, you know running a complete business having an idea is a different uh, state of mind altogether and running a business is altogether a different skill set requirement right so 
this particular website actually uh, this particular slide actually tells about everything it has put everything together so what we are talking about here is uh, first is the idea formation so you need a vision as i said to so to solve a problem you need a vision in the earlier side we said look ahead into the future what will be the demands what will be the requirements of the, our society going 10 years down the line 20 years down the line so you need to have a vision for that with the vision what is your mission in that so i want you know a waste free uh, pune city or i want to have a zero waste home uh concept you know i will uh, then collaborate with builders and build this zero waste homes or build this zero waste societies and what would be your strategy so i will you know like collaborate with governments i'll collaborate with uh, municipal corporations i'll collaborate with civil society uh, uh, organizations or i will collaborate with builders so that is one strategy that you will have to select and that strategy perhaps will decide what kind of uh, startup you will have you can have an ngo you can have a trust you can have a sole proprietorship you can have so many different ways uh, in which you can formulate your uh, strategy for uh, implementing your idea okay so the ideating stage is there then that idea is converted into a concept or a product okay so you have that will help you to define your audience that will help you to define your product range that will help you to define your price range that will also help you to define your geography whether it's a product suitable for rural areas whether it is a product suitable for urban areas and then committing to that idea you know where, where when you start investing your time when you start investing your effort you start investing your uh, you know uh, resources into a particular idea that is where you are committing yourself okay now i have confidence that this idea is going to work for me it's going to work for everyone else and that that is the time when i'm going to start uh you know investing more uh, time into it uh, making a product out of it shaping out it actually now that idea comes uh from your mind to your drawing board from your drawing board it goes to the workshop where it is actually going to be uh taking some physical form right so uh from your mind to the drawing board to the workshop and then once your prototype is ready you have to see the, that what is the product market fit well uh, by product market fit it means that uh we will be uh testing our product uh which uh, earlier i designed a product thinking that my uh, uh audience or my customers will be rural areas but actually when i start selling my product i find that oh no it's the urban audience who is liking my product more they are buying more and they are giving me more revenue than the rural uh, population so you know that iteration has to happen so that okay uh, because i thought that this would be, have been used by rural area more i gave one two three features now because it is used by urban areas i need to change one two three four features okay so that validation has to happen then you go to the scaling up stage where uh, you say that okay earlier i was producing 100 products a month and i was selling out all of them now the demand has increased so i will start selling more which means for more selling i need to have more production for more production i need more resources for more resources i need more investment in terms of people in terms of human capital in terms of space raw material everything so where am i going to arrange all of that from so you need a separate strategy for scaling up so at each stage of your uh, Uh, taking your innovation and converting it into a startup you have to go through all of these stages so your company will be called a startup right starting from uh, the day you register to up to 10 years your company can Okay, I'm back. Someone removed me from the meeting. Can you hear? I can hear you. Yes, 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 I can hear you. Yes
changed the meeting option. Yes, ma'am. She's uh, ma'am is changing the meeting option. I was also. Hmm. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Someone is removing me from the meeting. I don't know why. So, uh, do you have any questions with this um, stage? If there are any questions, do let me know. So, uh, for starting up, there's uh, this uh, government website called Startup India. Uh, we'll just have a look at uh, this website, uh, Startup India, because it has a complete uh, guidance set on um, how a company is set up, what are the Indian rules and regulations for uh, starting up in India. And they have this uh, very interesting startup kit uh, on the website, which kind of gives uh, a, a complete information of um, uh, how you would start up, uh, what are the steps involved in getting your company registered what are the government um, uh, you know support system that is available so all uh, all of that is um, mentioned in this website so i'm just giving you a look uh, you know we'll just peep into the um, uh, this booklet uh, which is the startup uh, india kit taking long to open sorry if you can see it Just give me a minute, it is opening. Uh, but you all can also look at the Startup India website and uh, see uh, the amount of information that is, uh, that is available there. Uh, they have, they run online courses also on for startups and uh, uh, most of them are free resources available. So anyone who wants to actually uh, enter the entrepreneurship world, uh, going forward after uh, your education uh, or even now uh, you can actually start looking at this uh, website because it's very resourceful it gives you uh, the information of all the grants that are available
Okay, only two fact, two persons are there attendees, Jishan Sheikh and Pawan. So I think I'll uh, end this meeting. No one is there in this meeting. <laughs> How we shall come am I audible you you can mute yourself she is presenter yeah come am presenter now. yes yes yes, yes ma'am uh, some students are doing this they, they are just playing i don't know what the reason is okay now we have changed the meeting option so it won't happen okay fine will let others yeah, ma'am allow others uh, they are joining so you can allow them first to join ma'am Shall we start? Shall we start? Or wait for another minute or so? Hello? Shall we start? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so shall we start? Ma'am, ma'am. Okay. Yes, okay. Mr. Khan. Yes. All right. So, um, so we will just look at the startup uh, India kit uh, once. We'll go through that. We'll browse through that because then that has a complete uh, repository of everything that we require to know uh, for getting our startup uh, and uh, going right from the ideation stage. So uh, this is particularly designed for uh, the Indian startups. OK, and um, just put to each with. All right. So uh, this is about, uh, you know, uh, entirely about your startups. Uh, so, uh, obviously, 
uh, tells that you have to register with the government of india as a startup uh, so that is some then they give you something called as the dp iit recognition uh, once you get that uh, recognition um once you get that recognition you get many uh, government benefits as a startup uh, you have a startup india portal on which you can see uh, what other startups are doing if there are any similar startups of your kind and uh, then they have the funding cycle because some funds will come from the government incubators some funds will come from uh, different agencies to you so what is that funding cycle all of that uh, has been mentioned here so once you get the startup india recognition you get assistance for uh, ipr registration you get uh, relaxation in public procurement norms self certification for uh, hr rules funds uh, for startups again available uh, faster exit for startups so that you know as i said that there can be some companies who might want to uh, sell their startups after a while so that uh, happens faster and easily uh, startup india seed fund is available uh they also give you information about all the regulatory mechanisms like what kind of registration you require what kind of licenses you will require uh what kind of uh, authority approvals you will require so all of that comes easily you get a tax exemption uh so it's basically once you move out from your workshop and become a uh, customer facing organization you immediately have to think about uh, you know managing uh, your uh, money and all of those things accordingly right so um so with this you have the uh, development programs you have knowledge bank you have networking events you have idea bank so uh, we were talking about uh ideas getting the ideas so you want to do something in the waste management sector but you don't know how to go about it so there is this idea bank wherein you can just browse through different ideas which are there and develop your own understanding and develop your own product out of it so this is very useful uh, resource that they have here then you can also connect with your mentors investors incubators uh, from the portal so uh, i would really recommend for uh, to all of you who want to uh, you know register yourself as a startup uh, please go through this uh, startup kit uh, find out uh, what uh, structure is more suitable for you take their online courses so that you know you uh, get into that zone of uh, uh, and get all of that moral courage to start your own uh, business here they have explained everything whatever was mentioned in the uh, you know index um you can look at this how many funds have been employed so far the most interesting part for us right now in this entire document uh, is to look at the glossary part of it okay i'll just take you directly there api the recognition steps everything is given step wise over here and you can look at the glossary where is it okay here it is so this is the glossary of uh, startups and what each terminology means even if you know at this stage when you are studying if you just get, get acquainted with all of this glossary then that itself will be a great resource for you to start uh, with your you know with your startup to get uh, working like today's session also has been organized uh, as a part of uh, that awareness only so you know once you go through all of uh, these uh, terminologies uh, then perhaps you know you will have all the information ready with you to uh, get started and get working on your uh, ideas so uh, then there are various uh, uh, funding stages available which again uh, the knowledge of that is also very important because ultimately you want to do business right so uh, 
obviously the pre seed is when you know on your working on your ideas and prototypes and generally you get funding from your family friends some grants are there some business competitions are there some collateral free debt is available so there are many government schemes under startup india which will give you collateral free uh, loans so you can just utilize all of that money in your pre seed uh, stage uh in your seed stage you will obviously go to angel investors pitching competitions and again you will have a lot of collateral free debt but that will be more in uh quantity as such okay then you go for your series a funding where you know you get market traction or uh, you can go for venture funds or you can go for loans so these will be called as a series a funding series b and c funding uh, funding will come from private equity firms investment firms and venture funds okay and uh, they are for your increasing revenues you know so you have funds available for different activities funds available for uh, getting intellectual property rights funds available for getting um, operational loan funds available for getting by new equipment funds available for getting a new office building for yourself so different kinds of funds or different kinds at different stages you are going to need money for different causes so all of that is arranged in this funding so when do you go to we know we now know that you know zomato's ipo was launched or bharat pay's ipo was launched so you come to that stage at a very later stage you know perhaps 10, 10 to 15 years into your business and then uh you can actually come up to uh that stage where you can launch your own uh ipo hmm? and then there are possibilities that you will get acquired by uh larger corporations or uh you know uh, you yourself become a, a multinational company by having your uh, collaborations or uh, your establishments in different countries so this is all about uh, you know uh, the different stages of uh right, directly starting from innovation and going up to uh the investment stage at uh, different uh, uh points in time okay so so startup is a very buzzword these days but uh, you know there is a lot of uh, uh, work that actually goes behind uh just saying that we are a, a startup so now uh we will just uh, look uh, recap whatever we have seen we are saying that you know we have an idea we are refining your idea uh, we will write a business plan there are many templates available to write a business plan and you know after this session i would really want whether you want to do a business or you don't want to do a business do work on a business plan template because that helps you to set up your think uh, thinking in a very different way so uh, it will be very helpful to all of you uh, if you just uh, start working on a business plan uh, get a uh, uh hang of you know like what are the different sections uh in a business plan and what all information i need to punch in over there assess your finances how much money do i have now how much money would i need to run this business at an optimal level uh having minimum expenses and you know building uh some revenue out of it uh determine your legal business uh, structure when i say determine your legal business structure means uh you can you have to decide whether you want to become an ngo whether you want to become a uh, limited liability company whether you want to become a section 8 company whether you want to become a private limited company what is going to be your legal structure okay uh, that is something that will come up later uh, register with the government once you know what it is so with ministry of corporate affairs you have to get your company registered uh, you need an insurance policies to if you have equipment if you have employees you need to have insurance policy against them uh you have to build your team no company will ever succeed without a team you know your final year projects are also uh a, a hands on experience for you to for your team building uh, skills so that you have good skills and you have good uh, team members how to select your team members which will bring which will work for the benefit of your company all of that you have to see uh choose your vendors you know for your raw materials for all of uh, uh the equipment that you are purchasing you will have to have uh, a lot of 
uh, vendors and you should know how to negotiate you should know uh, how to choose the best quality material you have to choose you have to uh, learn a lot about inventory design all of those things then branding and advertisement you cannot say that i'll start a business but i'm shy of marketing i don't like marketing i won't do marketing i don't want to do any type of marketing so then you are, your business will not go anywhere you should learn to market yourself to brand yourself and then you have to uh, work towards growing your business when new customers come in managing your customers all of those things so again as i said having an idea is a different skill set and running a business is a different skill set so you need really need to have a team which uh, you know you might be good at the technical part but not at the financial part so you need to build your team accordingly who will come together and give inputs on all the aspects of uh, converting your innovation into a startup or convert converting your innovation uh, into a business right um so there is one more resource uh, which i would like all of you to go to uh, there's this uh, business news daily website and it has uh, again given in depth information about the startup stages so once you go from uh, your startup doesn't start uh, at the stage where you are saying that okay i have registered my business today as we have seen in this website uh, on this slide you see this is the zero stage from here you are going to start registering your startup and building but it actually starts at these two stages where you are ideating and conceptualizing your startup without idea you cannot have a startup you cannot just today say that okay i want to start up first i'll register myself and then i'll think of what i want to do that cannot happen right so you need to have uh, a clear idea of in which sector you want to work who will be your audience what will be the product or service that you are designing and then you go on to uh, registering yourself all right um so with that uh, my presentation is over and i'll open up for question answers now so um, are there any questions that uh, you would like to ask i think the uh, question won't be there i think so but uh, uh, if any question is there please ask uh, yeah i mean i would like to know from the audience like um, what was their idea of starting a business like if you if any one of you would have wanted to start a business how would you go about it Ma'am, first of all, registering ourselves under some act, act like maybe okay. a shop act or uh, starting with the number of people who are going to join, and uh, the owner uh, should have his own registration, and then we can start with the planning and investment and everything like. Right, correct. Um, yeah, getting some initial experience of uh, you know selling a product. uh managing uh, your own revenue uh seeing that how much operational capital is going into it all of that will help you to uh, uh formulate the strategy uh of growing your business once you know how your business is working well how much profit margin you are having then perhaps you know you can as you rightly said you can start with a shop act and then perhaps go on you know uh expanding into a proprietorship or expanding into a limited liability then into a private limited company all of those things can happen at a later stage right any more questions anyone any inputs do you think it is too difficult yeah ma'am first of all i would like to have survey of my clients which are going mm -hmm. to be my clients first mm -hmm. of all i will uh, conduct a market survey after that i would i would like to know the product which is go, uh, currently being marketed in the uh, market mm -hmm. what are the qualities of that product then why it is running and why why people are going to uh, towards it then i would right. like to select my product according to it mm -hmm. then i will start my company and then i will uh, start uh, investing in Uh, first of all making the team of the people which are working with me 
Yeah. Perfect. Then I will register it, and mm-hmm. after that I will market it. Very true. W- and wonderful. there are multiple. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. So yeah, that is the right way to go with it. Uh, uh, just that you know you can have your own products also. So with uh, his point, I realized two things. One is uh, you can have develop your own product also by comparing what is available in the market, or you can also be a, a trader or a retailer and start your own business by you know uh, taking uh, uh, the products which are already there in the market and designing a service out of it. okay so that is also possible just to give an example all the radio cabs that is ola and uber they are not manufacturing cars okay or they are not giving training to drivers they are just using whatever is available in the market and they are also using the available technologies that is the internet technology all they have done is they have developed an app which connects all Platform. of these different players together right so uh, you know that also could be a way to solve a problem for public transportation ola and uber uh, the radio cabs and radio autos and all of them have come out with a different kind of a solution so they are not manufacturing as such everything similarly with the e everything in the e commerce uh, uh, space can be designed like that right yes ma'am yeah any more inputs suggestions ma'am i have to ask you that uh, how to market our product if there is uh, much competition in market then how to stand out between that uh, all that uh, chaos how to right. make our product look beautiful than others or how to make our product more attractive than other products in the market so there are two three uh, steps in doing that first and foremost is uh, you really need to have a thorough understanding of your customers that why will my customers choose my product so unless and until you have a connect with your customers uh, it will it won't happen do whatever you want to it won't happen unless you connect with your customers understand them give them a personal touch only then and then people will buy from you if you just have that you know uh, i i mean i won't want to call it arrogance but if you want to if you have that attitude that you know my product is the best le lo ya bhul jao you know you, either you buy it or leave it you cannot go with that attitude when you have a lot of competition right so you have to find out ways in which you can connect with your customers uh, let's say you are selling um, you are selling cars so you remember you know something where many companies uh, uh, many car companies especially what they do is they uh, you know take down your birth date or something like that they'll give you additional services of uh, insurance or they will give you reminders about your car uh, uh, updation they'll give you more in some accessories free and that is how this and that goes on you know on a regular basis uh, for your maintenance and all of those things they will give you some facilities for the first year for the third year for the fifth year to make sure that you know you are using their service and your there is a connect between you and them so they connect on all levels on sir they'll re- give you a reminder they'll send you a birthday wish so my bank sen- sends me a birthday message all the time there's no reason why my bank should be sending me a birthday message but you know that makes me feel more connected with my bank so uh, unless and until you connect with your customers you're not going to uh, be able to sell your products one second Man, is basically to- emotional intelligence yeah you uh, emotional intelligence is the key one second is you have to hire very smart uh, uh, or uh, advertisement and marketing agencies who will help you to design uh, innovative marketing campaigns so there you know there is whole lot of literature available on how you can design innovative marketing uh, campaigns so that your product stands out you know if you look at uh, coca cola kind of a thing what they are selling the product is actually soda and water put together it's not like anything very uh, cost uh, you know it's it's not uh, rocket science that they are doing right but even then they are a multi dollar uh, company and it is all credit to their marketing the way they are marketing it the way they are uh, placing their product right so uh, that is very important that the way uh, you uh, 
kind of uh, associate uh, or uh, position yourself in the market so you will you will might uh, have to have some good brand ambassadors uh, which go with your theme so if you are into sports maybe you know that kind of uh, brand ambassadors if you are into entertainment that kind of brand ambassadors or social brand ambassadors so you will have to have those brand ambassadors you will have to work on the design and look of your product so to so also you know many a times in the if you are placing your products in your supermarket where your product is placed in the supermarket that also makes a lot of difference among which other products is your product placed how is how does your product look different when it is placed with 10 other products so all of that uh, there are specific uh, specific uh, people with specific skills that will help you to do that there are uh, uh, you know product designers there are product market campaigners then uh, who will design a marketing strategy and a campaign for you you can do radio ads you can do insta ads you can do facebook ads social media marketing is a different world altogether so if your product is more to do with the young generation then perhaps you know insta and facebook kind of uh, uh, platforms will be more helpful google has a completely entirely different uh, uh, you know vertical for marketing which Search also engine optimization more- yeah google uh, uh, ads and google analytics will help you to place your ads properly so uh, there are a whole lot of things that you will have to do to uh, stand out and continuously be in touch with your uh, customers that uh, you, even if you are selling you know chana futana or you are selling the uh, uh, you know the uh, the latest ai technology based software whatever you are doing you have to be in touch with your customers whichever way possible so that is the only way out so i hope i have answered your question yeah ma'am thank you any more questions anyone uh, are there any schemes uh, for startups specially for girls or women like yes uh, so uh, uh, there is this uh, there are many uh, schemes that come out for uh, only women entrepreneurs so iisc uh, i am bangalore runs this uh, nrcl scheme which is only for women entrepreneurs uh, then there is this goldman sachs uh, scheme which is working for uh, for making you know 10000 women entrepreneurs uh governments uh, come out with various uh, women entrepreneur related schemes uh, on uh, regular basis so mudra yojana which is uh, there uh, which is a government scheme under that there is there are some special preferences given for uh, women led scheme so uh, on all levels you will see that uh, there are uh, different schemes available for women entrepreneurs yes there are many uh, then you know even some companies come out with uh, startup uh, association or startup calls they also have uh, separate schemes for women entrepreneurs yeah thank you ma'am all right so if there are no more questions maybe we can stop with them ma'am yes ma'am yes we yes ma'am you can yeah 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 i think no questions are there and today so much disturbance was there in the meeting first time this happened vishakha ma'am we are sorry for that your students are doing this just just like a game they are playing this no problem. sorry for that first of all thank you very much uh, your uh, experience uh, give every small detail of the startup or how to convert the car- innovation in the startup so i think all audience are happy with your presentations and thank you very much again we'll have some programs again a uh, number of students will be more i'm sure because just now exams are finished less number of students are available so thank you very much ma'am thank you it was a pleasure speaking to all of you so thank you so much for this opportunity thank you okay ma'am bye thank you ma'am all our all audience can leave uh, this meeting uh, you all will get uh, uh, feedback link on the email if you have registered for this program 
your email is with us and i will send you feedback link on the email if any problem